Hey guys, Shadows here, and welcome to another video. So today, guys, I have an awesome video for you, just a quick one, but I've actually found out kind of like Xbox One cheat codes, which you can use on the home screen to activate. Yes, you can turn your own Xbox One in your own home into a live working dev kit. If you don't know what it stands for, it's known as a developer kit. We plenty, we probably, most of us probably know plenty of information on the Xbox 360 dev kits. Many people use them to their advantages to take over games with mods, hacks, cheats, modifying the game to their will. But today, guys, the Xbox One has been found out on how to activate the dev kit settings. If you know, a while back, Microsoft actually said, like they did, how every Xbox One will be able to be turned into a dev kit to create their own games. So if you're part of a production team, or if you're even by yourself, and you have the knowledge and you want to create your own game, you can actually have the chance to sign up to the developer or publisher program with Xbox One and Microsoft. I will leave the link to the website down below in the description, so make sure to click on that if you're interested. But you do have to actually be able to create games. It's not just for anyone. You actually have to be part of a kind of like a company. But it's basically just the opportunity and chance for everyone who isn't big like in a major company like smaller companies like when they make them indie games it's kind of like that but just a bit more developed but everyone will be able to have the chance into making their own games so if you want to know how to activate the developer settings the dev kit anyone can do this but i warn you guys there's a few things you don't want to change or you will literally turn your xbox one into a paperweight and it will be definitely unstable and you won't be able to use it at all so you want to go to my games and apps you want to find settings around here, as you can see it's at the front because I recently just used it. You want to go to system. Then the cheat code you want to press in your controller guys is LB, RB, left trigger, right trigger. As you can see the developer settings show up. Then the first option is enable dev kit. You can actually tick this but you will be giving this error message which says this is not an authorized development console. If you have just joined the program, which I referred to in the earlier part of the video, your console may not yet be activated in XDP. I have no idea what it stands for. I think it's Xbox Developer Program, maybe, yeah. But it says, wait 30 minutes and try again. If that does not work, check with your asset manager. So click OK. So as you can see, I can't actually enable the dev kit settings. But this is how you actually turn your Xbox One into a dev kit once you're signed up on the program. I was earlier talking about something which you don't want to change or you basically will break your Xbox and it won't be usable. This is the sandbox ID. As you can say and see it's stated as retail as well as the certificate type. My Xbox One is a retail, it's just a regular Xbox One. If you change the sandbox ID guys, your Xbox One will be unusable, like you'll literally break it and there's no point wasting that much money that everyone has paid for their consoles just to find a dev kit settings and try to, trying to enable it by changing this sandbox ID. Don't change it at all guys, I'm going to put a full stop there with capital letters. Don't change the sandbox ID. But you can do this for yourself guys and just have a look around this little menu right here. But it's quite cool to find out some cheat codes basically, they're like cheat codes for the xbox one but this is great a great finding thank you very much for watching guys if you have any comments or questions let me know down below in the comment section below i also have plenty of videos being uploaded in the next couple of days more about the xbox one a bit more dead rising 3 videos rise son of rome and also because of the vgx game award show which is happening today i will be looking at that show with definitely a big eye because I will definitely be going over plenty of the games, of course, including Titanfall. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, I will see you on my next video.